You guys ready? You got your shots? On three. One, two, three. Oh! When it comes to the world of stings, there are titans of pain that stand tall above the rest. Now, I've already survived the dreaded sting of the bullet ant, ah! the warrior wasp, ah! and even the deadly stonefish. Ah! But there is one titan that has eluded me time and time again. So today, I am back in the state of Arizona to take on the sting of the one and only tarantula hawk. Let's get searching. The last five times I have come to Arizona, I have not been able to catch one of these giant spider wasps. But today is different. It's different because we've been tipped off to a well-known tarantula hawk hotspot. Let me explain to you why this is a great location for tarantula hawks. Reason number one, water. In the desert, water is life, and it grows flowering plants, just like this one. You see all these honeybees fast at work? This is exactly the same type of plant that tarantula hawk is going to be after. They eat nectar. So I think the best strategy for us today is to walk laps around this pond, keeping our eyes to the sky and our ears open. These wasps are so huge that you can actually hear them buzzing in through the air. They're like little fighter jets. Zzz. If we can find one perched up like this butterfly right here, that is going to present the perfect opportunity for me to swoop in with the net. Here we go. Desert's waking up. Got the hummingbirds out now. I think that was a tarantula lock, actually. They just flew by. It's a big one. Really? Dang, yeah. I just saw one. I saw my first tarantula hawk. It just went God. way into the desert, like no chance. But that was definitely one. They really stand out from the other insects and things flying around out here. I mean, we're talking about a wasp two inches long. Today's the day. I can feel it. Today's the day it's going to change. It's just a matter of patience and persistence. Let's keep hiking around this pond. Got one? Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Where is it? Oh, right here, right here. Yeah. There it is. Yep. Oh, no. That is one. That is definitely one. Oh, my oh. gosh. I can see its bright orange wings, and it's huge. That is really high, though. <laughs> that is like 12 feet. I just can't. I can't get that high. It just comes down. Dang it. The drought continues. We just have to find the right one. Yeah, at least this guy's catching stuff out here. Whoa, whoa, right here, right here, right here, Mark. Whoa! That was huge. I got one. Right here. Right here. Got it. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my goodness. And that is a good one too. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. Can't get too excited. It's got to get in the jar to be officially a catch. Okay. Yeah! Yes! I cannot believe that catch. That was so epic. What a fitting way to end the drought of catching tarantula hawks. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. I was like, man, if this doesn't happen today, I don't think it's ever going to happen. And now, unfortunately, this victory, this victorious moment I'm feeling is about to turn into a world of pain because I've set the table for me to enter the sting zone with one of the colossals of sting, the tarantula hawk. Whew. Let's go set up the sting table. Here we go, it's game time. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the size of that tarantula hawk. That is a massive tarantula hawk. And I have to say, I have not been this amp for a sting video in a very long time. We have put in the work to feature the tarantula hawk on the bite sting index. And today, it's going down. But before we get into that, check this out. Not only did I catch one tarantula hawk, I caught two. 
And the reason I want to show you both of these insects is because although they look similar, they are very different. And it's important for you to know the difference if you're ever out here in the Southwest and encounter one of these giant flying insects. And the way I'm going to show you how they're different is by demonstrating. Here we go. You ready? You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. We get out the second tarantula hawk from the container. Here we go. You ready? This is one of those moments where you really hope you're right about what you've learned. One, two, three. No sting. And that is because what I'm holding here is a male tarantula hawk and they do not possess a stinger. Now the reason why the males do not possess stingers, and this is true in almost all stinging insects, is because a stinger is really just a modified appendage for laying eggs. Now, besides not having a stinger, the only other way to tell the difference between the male and female tarantula hawks are by looking at their antenna. Males have straight antenna, where females curl at the ends. And while side by side, it's also easy to see that females are larger, you typically will never see more than one tarantula hawk at a time. So checking for those antenna is the best way to know if you're looking at a harmless insect versus one that packs one of the most intense stings on the planet. I'm actually gonna transfer her into a bigger glass so we can really see, so she can spread all the way out. And you can see how truly gargantuan this wasp is. Okay, there we go. Wow. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. What a monster wasp. Guys, look at the size of that abdomen. This is the biggest tarantula hawk I have ever seen. Now, the reason they're called a tarantula hawk is because how they reproduce. These enormous wasps, one of the largest wasps in the world, feed tarantulas to their young. And the way they do that is they will fly around the desert looking for these giant spiders. Once they find one, they will swoop down like a bird of prey, catch it, sting it, paralyzing the tarantula, and then lay eggs inside of it. So when those eggs hatch, the very first meal of a tarantula hawk's life is a giant spider. And then they will emerge from the burrow as a fully grown wasp and feast on nectar. I've seen these wasps dragging spiders across the desert 10 times their size. It's truly unbelievable just how powerful the tarantula hawk can be. And the last thing I just wanna note before we get into the sting test is look at the legs of this wasp. They are extremely long. In fact, when you see them flying through the air, you can see those long legs dragging down behind them. And the reason they need to have such long legs is so they can grapple those spiders and inflict that paralyzing sting that are also covered in tiny hairs. Got some hairy legs there, lady. Well, now that we know why it's called a tarantula hawk and we've been able to take a closer look, I think it's time for the moment that you all came for. It's time for me to enter the sting zone with one of the largest wasps on the planet. Here we go. All right. I often get questions. Mark, are you just over the fear of stings by now? No. I always get a lot of anxiety before taking a sting for a first time, especially when it's one of the titans of sting. The tarantula hawk sting is notorious. It's put right up there with the bullet ant. And when it comes to stings that I personally witnessed, I cannot think of one more terrifying than when I saw someone get stung by a tarantula hawk. As much as I've been working hard with the team to find one of these tarantula hawks for this sting test, in this moment, oh buddy, I'm feeling the nerves. The sooner I take the sting, the sooner I get to healing. That I know for sure. All right, I'm getting the signal. You guys ready? Yeah. It's go time. 
All right, guys, this is gonna be one of the biggest things I ever go through. Got essential first aid on standby, the EpiPen. Oh my gosh. I can't believe the, the moment has arrived for me to enter this thing's in with this wasp. This is big time. Okay, guys, here we go. Now, I'm gonna rate the sting of this wasp on three different factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath. So at the end of this video, this tarantula hawk is going to receive a BSI score and it will rate it against all the other stings and bites that I've ever taken. Will it top the bullet ant? It's time to find out. I'm gonna remove the glass. Oh man, this is where it'd be very easy for me to take a sting too early. Those legs are so strong. Like if I don't get the right hold right away, it's almost no chance. I'm shaking. I'm so nervous right now. Gosh, this is so, always so much harder than it looks. Got to hold. All right, I'm gonna have to use another set. Oh my gosh, look at how big that stinger is, guys. So strong. Got it. Good hold. I gotta go for the sting, guys. Ready? I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the one and only tarantula hawk. You guys ready? You got your shots? On three. One. Two. Three. All right, hang on. I'm about to, I'm feeling lightheaded. I feel like I might pass out. I feel like I might pass out. Sorry, guys. Oh, Sorry. You want me to put the jar on it right now? No, I'm just, hold on, just let me get my nerves going. Right. My legs are shaking, my hands are shaking. I feel like my stomach's in my throat right now. I've never, I've never felt this like, like this before, Sting. This is like next level, next level tear. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is happening. All right, here we go. All right, guys, on three. One, two, Three. Ah, stinger's hit! Stinger's hit! Uh, oh god, I didn't get a good sting though. I gotta do it again. Oh, that hurts. It didn't get good. It didn't get me good. One, two, three. Oh! White hot, white hot. Ah. Ah. You all right, man? Oh. oh, it's bad. It's really bad. She got me. She got me a bunch of times before the real sting, but the real sting went in. It was so bad. Pain. White hot. It's like gasoline under the skin, torched. It's like someone put a match right on it. Ah, that's the real deal. Look at the swelling already. Matter of seconds, it's already swelling up. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. Ah. I feel like my voice is going. All right. Well. I've survived so far. I don't think I need the EpiPen, but my voice is shot. And I think it's now time for me to recover, endure the aftermath, and for you guys to know exactly where the red clock rates on the Brave Wilderness Bike Sting Index. Roll it. Huh. For intimidation, it's hard to imagine a wasp or any insect more intimidating than the tarantula hawk. But just in case I ever find one, I'll give it a 9.9 .9 out of 10. For pain, 
It was way up there compared to the worst stings I've experienced. Instant flares of pain rocked my arm and underneath the skin. And the only reason I took repeated stings was to make sure I took a full dose, which I'm sure glad I did for the sake of this index, because that last sting was 10 times as painful as the first eight or so warning pops. All of that said, I don't feel it was quite as bad as a bullet ant, so it only gets an 8.6 out of 10 for pain. For aftermath, the swelling was severe. My arm ballooned up and the redness extended from my wrist all the way down to my elbow. And the pain lasted for over 24 hours, but was much less severe after just about 30 minutes. However, it was followed by days of very intense itching before it started to properly heal. For that, the aftermath gets an 8.5 out of 10 giving the tarantula hawk a grand score and BSI rating of a nine, making it the second worst sting I have rated so far and just barely falling short of the current king of sting, the bullet ant. Needless to say, while tarantula hawks are typically non-aggressive, you should never attempt to do what you saw in this video. Take it from me, it was a very painful experience I hope to never have again. Ouch. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures.